Hello, I'm Jason Kofuralalua George. I'm an electric guitarist here at Sherpa Band, and today we shall be discussing the song All the Nations. That is the sixth track of our latest release, Behold. Um, the song is in the key of C, and it is at 80 beats per minute. However, we time it for the functional purpose of playing it live at 160 because 80 just feels a bit slow. Um, so that's a good setting to set your delays to, 160 BPM. Um, speaking of that, we can discuss what the song's settings are. You generally want a good drive going because it's a nice chuggy song. Um, you want a delay going at 160 BPM just because 80 BPM is also a bit too long and you'd like a reverb for that little bit of dimension. The first parts that I'll be going through are the lead part and the rhythm parts of the intro. It is also critical to note that for the entirety of the song, we'll be playing it on our bridge pickup. There'll be a little bit of compression going into the drives just for consistency of tone, etc., etc., etc. I play it in this specific configuration on the strings because it's easiest for me to play. Um, I'd recommend the same for you. You may not necessarily have big hands, so you may want to play a different shape, but that shape I play this for the sake of picking, but I'll demonstrate it using that shape, using both. Using the second, more condensed finger shaping, you do look something like this. That's merely the shape for if you want to play it that way. As you may have seen um, in the previous take, I also made a little bit of mistakes. That's because the string positioning is just a bit dodgy for me. So that's something you need to look at, um, especially where you have to fit all your fingers into this tiny little fret up here, um, which is why I recommend the previous one. Going into the chorus is just follow the chords. Um, on all the nations. One, two, three, four. The rhythm part for all of that, um, for the intro and the interlude, will go something like this. Once you've played the chorus bit, um, then it goes back into the interlude, which is the same fiddly. Da -da, da -da, da -da -da -da. Um, then you come out of the interlude going into the second verse. There is a slightly, actually a very clean electric guitar playing something that goes along the lines of this from Strength in Our Hands.
Then you go back into the chorus with the chords from earlier on in this video. Um, then we go into the massive bridge interlude. Um, it's just octaves, um, which shall be illustrated now. And then the song crashes out to just a piano and perhaps an acoustic guitar, depending on your live setup. That'll be all for this tutorial. And I wish you the best of success with executing this in your live worship situations.